Hi, today I am going to show you how to download stats and configure stats in a dynamic web project. First, I am going to download the stats jar files. Just go to the Google and type in stats download. And click on the first link which will navigate to the Apache download page. In this way, we will be having the stats latest version download. So download the zip file to your local system. Once the download was complete, extract the files. And this folder contains all the required jar, jars where you, you have the stats code and all the other common library jars. Now go to your Eclipse and create a new dynamic project. I am going to cre create a stats authentication project. So I am naming it as stats authentication. It shows an error as I already have the project with the same name. So I am going to continue with the same project. And I have added the jar files in the list folder. Stretch score and other common jar files. And the first step for configuring stretch is to Add our action servlet in the web.xml. As action servlet is the core for struts, we have to configure that in the web.xml and we are going to give the servlet mapping for the same. And make sure that we create a stats config file in our WebINF folder. And navigating to the web stats config XML file, I have created an action called login, which is having a type name and two action forwards, one for success and one for failure. Now I am going to create a new action class with the name authentication, which extends action. And this have two action forwards, one for success and one for failure. Now I have created two JSTs, success.jst and error.jst for the two action forwards. And there is a form, action form, login form, which I have created having two variables, name and password. The same two fields will be mentioned in my login.jst form. And the form action is login.do which matches with the action part in my stats config file. And once this is done, I am going to I am going to start the server in which we are going to take into the login page. Just enter the username and password and click submit. This takes takes us to the success page. Yeah, that's it.